Hey friends and happy Valentine's Day. Today we're gonna be hanging out with some friends and hopping around the Walt Disney World Resort celebrating Valentine's Day. I know that we have plans of hitting up Magic Kingdom and a special Valentine's dinner later on tonight and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with us. Anywho's, let's go do this. Our first stop of the day is gonna be here at Disney Springs and we're gonna have lunch at Wine Bar George. This is one of the best places to actually come for Valentine's Day and I wonder if they're actually doing any specials because today is Valentine's Day itself. It's really amazing to be able to hang out with a big group of friends because then I'm not really alone on Valentine's Day and we have a long day ahead of us. Like we plan on going all over the place. Uh, a Magic Kingdom is definitely a must. I feel like Magic Kingdom you have to go to every single holiday because I just feel like it fits perfectly. And uh, what a better way to start the day than here at Disney Springs. I'm sure later on tonight here at Disney Springs it's going to be super busy and it's going to be almost impossible to get a reservation. Of course everybody wants to celebrate date night you know at Disney Springs. The same thing goes with all the resort and park restaurants. So we have a couple of reservations lined up ahead of time. Because it is Valentine's Day, I'm wearing my Christmas spirit jersey because it's red. And I remember buying this last year, and now it doesn't say Christmas on it at all. It's just a red spirit jersey. And I was thinking, wow, this is such a universal like spirit jersey. I could wear this multiple times throughout the year. And I thought, hey, it's a good idea. Red, Valentine's Day, perfect. Of course, my true Valentine is at home at the moment, and uh, I'll be seeing her a little bit later on, so I do have to stop and get a pup cake, and uh, I think I might bring it to her in between uh, as we like hop around, because, you know, I mean, I don't want to be out all day, and I plan like it's going to be a long day, so we'll probably stop in and check on Miss Gracie herself, bring her a little pup cake before we move to our next adventure. Let me know in the comments if you had to pick what would be your perfect Valentine's Day restaurant here at Walt Disney World, what would it be? Like if you could choose any restaurant to go take a date to for Valentine's Day at Walt Disney World, what restaurant would that be? I thought it would be fun to hear all of your answers because I think that is really nifty and it's such a great idea. I mean, Valentine's dates at uh, Walt Disney World are probably the best place to do it. You know what I mean? I love coming to Wine Bar George. It is such an awesome place and it's probably going to be super packed here tonight because like I said, this is like one of the most highly voted restaurants to come for Valentine's Day. So I'm lucky that we're going to be able to stop in for lunch and it looks like they're actually doing uh, mold wine today. So it's a little chilly out. So they're going to be having hot wine for $12 and it is so, so good. I love it. This is one of the best things and they don't serve it all the time, only when it's the chilly season. Now we have made it inside the restaurant and I love it in here. It is so cool. They have 135 different types of wines here and they sell it by the glass, by the bottle, by the ounce. But I'm not a big wine drinker so I'll probably get myself like an espresso martini because it's early in the day. Little uh, coffee to wake me up. Cheers! Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wake up call. Yeah, it's, it is. It's really, really strong. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and you kind of get a little hidden Mickey with the coffee beans on top. Isn't that so fancy? Here, here. Cheers. <laughs> I decided on getting the steak frites. And look at these. This looks really, really good. It comes with an aioli sauce, but I want it on the side because I'm not the biggest aioli fan. And I would say like the most popular thing here is the mac and cheese balls, the fried mac and cheese. But that's like really, really popular along with the meatballs. But I want to try something fancy today, something a little different. I think I'm definitely going to try the aioli because, you know, you can't knock it until you try it. So I'll take a little bit of steak and just give it a little bit like that. A little aioli on my steak. Aioli, eh? <laughs> mm. That's not bad. That's not that bad at all. It's a garlic onion aioli. I could have got that on there and I would have liked it anyway. But the steak is so, so good. Cooked perfectly. I love it. And I love the french fries underneath the steak. These are the ones. These are the winners right here. The one they got all the steak juice on there. Oh. I can't even grab it with the fork. Oh yeah. 
I've never had the french fries here at Wine Bar George, but they are so, so good. And I want to come back and try brunch, because brunch looks phenomenal. I think, I remember a long time ago, I was like, oh, I want to start like a, a video series where I go around and try all the different brunch at Disney Springs, and I stopped doing it. I don't know why. I feel like I should pick that back up. Brunch is fun. This has successfully done its job, and I am officially woken up. The wake-up call woke me up. Now it's time to move out. Wine Bar George was an awesome lunch spot. I do want to come back and try the brunch, and we didn't eat that much. It was all shareable food items. Uh, that's kind of what they do. They have small plates here. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to head back out to Disney Springs. Now we have to stop in to Sprinkles and get Gracie her pup cakes for Valentine's Day. I wish they did like a special like pup cake for Valentine's Day. I'm sure they do special cupcakes, but not too much love for the fur babies. Looks like they've got a heartthrob red velvet cupcake for Valentine's Day. Six dollars for that, but we're looking for the pupperoos here. Or you can just get a vegan red velvet because it has a V on there. Get it? It's kind of funny. Sprinkles have been obtained. Now, before we actually uh, go to our next location where we're gonna hang out, I think I'm gonna run home, give Gracie her pup cup, and uh, bring you along with us, and then we're gonna hop over to the Grand Floridian. I have to say though, it is such a beautiful day out for Valentine's Day. Like, I'm really loving it today. I can't wait to go to the Magic Kingdom later on. Like, it's good, and it's a little bit chilly too. Before we actually take off and head to Gracie, I wanted to show you guys the heartthrob cupcake because I decided on getting it because I feel like today's the only day that they're going to sell it. I don't think they're selling it after today and it looked really cool and I thought it was worthy to try just a bite and uh, show you guys. Look at this cupcake. Doesn't that look like the perfect Valentine's Day cupcake? We're definitely gonna have to try it a little bit though. I love the icing at Sprinkles. I feel like that's what sets it apart from regular cupcakes. So we're gonna just get a little bit right here. Oh wow. This looks so, so good. Holy moly, look at that red velvet. Oh boy. Oopsie. <laughs> We're just gonna try one bite and I'm gonna wrap it up and actually put it in the freezer or in the fridge for later on, but it looks so, so good. So here we go. Little red velvet on Valentine's Day. Can't go wrong with that. Wow. That is such a great cupcake. Now we're gonna kind of put it back in this little box here <laughs> and uh, take it home. But wow, so, so good. All right, are you guys ready to see my beautiful Valentine this year? She is beautiful. Look at her. <laughs> Who's the prettiest princess in the world? It's Gracie. You want a cupcake? Huh? You want a cupcake for Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want one? Huh? For you? She was supposed to get her nails painted for Valentine's Day pink, but they ran out, so she got purple nails. Purple nails from Miss Gracie. Will you be my Valentine? Oh, don't lose it. Why are you taking it and running away? Oh, not in the grass. Aw. I moved it up here for her. And then she took it back over there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love Gracie. She is the cutest dog ever. And uh, now it's time to the Grand Floridian we go. To the Grand. Would you look at that. Love is in the air tonight at the most magical place on earth. The reason that we're coming to the Grand Floridian is because we want to go hang out at the Enchanted Rose before we make our way over to the Magic Kingdom. And then we want to come back here later on tonight because that's where we're going to have our dinner. Our special Friends Valentine's Day dinner right here at the Grand Floridian. The Enchanted Rose is probably the best, I would say, lounge to actually come for Valentine's Day. It is so nice in there, and it, there's a rose in the name. Enchanted Rose, Beauty and the Beast, definitely probably the best lounge to go for Valentine's Day. Talk about Valentine's Day at the Grand Floridian. Can you think of anything more magical than that right there? Holy moly, look at that. What an amazing experience. That is so, 
breathtaking, isn't it? Right here, right at the Grand Floridian on Valentine's Day. Seeing Cinderella's carriage just kind of stroll by, that was so, so awesome. I think there was uh, newlyweds in there. I think they just got married today at the Grand Floridian. Getting married at the Grand Floridian on Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> you talk about dreams come true. That's probably it right there. And now we've made it to the Enchanted Rose. And I just think this is, like I said, the perfect bar for Valentine's Day. So elegant. Look at the roses. Now that we're inside the Enchanted Rose, uh, I'm gonna order a drink. I was gonna get the Amour, the love story cocktail, but they don't have the ingredients for it. So instead, I think I'm gonna get an Island Rose. It's gotta be a little fancy, gotta add a little Valentine's Day flair into there. So I think the Island Rose will fit perfectly. This is the drink I wanted to get, and it's a tale of tableside cocktails. And like I said, this would have been perfect for uh, Valentine's Day. But instead, we're gonna get the Island Rose. A little kettle one, a little grapefruit, some rose lime, and rose water. So this is gonna be nice and refreshing. And here it is, the Island Rose. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Some fancy drinks. Exactly. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> it is a really pretty drink, though, I have to say. Ooh. And it's very delicious. Wow. Doesn't look like many people are sitting in the Enchanted Forest over here, and I love it. It is so nice. Actually, all of the Enchanted Rose is like beautiful. If you just dine in the uh, area where the bar is with the chandelier, or if you go over to the library, it's just a perfect place. Now I think we're gonna be leaving the Enchanted Rose and making our way over to Magic Kingdom, but there's one stop here at the Grand Floridian I wanna do before we hop on the monorail, and that's uh, Basin to see if they've got any Valentine's Day soap and definitely to wash my hands. Did you really come to the Grand Floridian if you don't stop at Basin? Especially to wash your hands, and look at it. Look how nice it is with the sun actually coming in here. Wow. Very beautiful at the Grand Floridian today. As we were sitting in the Enchanted Rose, I read that they uh, started doing figment popcorn buckets again, and it's mobile order, so uh, some of my friends haven't gotten one. We might actually end up going to Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and then back to Magic Kingdom, and then back to the Grand Floridian. It definitely seems like today is turning into a long, adventurous day, and I'm happy about it. Hi! Hi friends. Now we gotta hop into Basin White here. We gotta wash our hands. <laughs> here is a couple of the Valentine's Day soaps. The Be Mine bath bomb. And then look at this little Mickey right here. I like it. Oh, I like this one too. These are so, so good. The Mickey one's $5.99. I actually have one of these still at home that I haven't used from last year. But I definitely need to wash my hands and I'm gonna use the Mickey Mouse body scrub cherry watermelon. That's the way. Let's see. Is that wet at first? Eh? Huh? Oh, hands smell like cherry watermelon. Even through the mask, I can smell it. Oh, so good. Looks like we're just in time for monorail yellow. They go, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll go down this way. They call me Mellow Yellow. <laughs> now we've made it over to the Magic Kingdom. And as you guys know, I like to keep things like well themed with what's going on in the vlog. So Valentine's Day, uh, I'm wearing all red and I brought my red magic band. And this one actually lights up at the uh, turnstiles red. So uh, it's a good Valentine's Day, full of redness. I'm just so happy to be here though. I love walking up to the Magic Kingdom with the music playing and it's so nice out. <laughs> there we go, let's get some red maybe. She's electric. I am so there you Oh, there it is. So it. <laughs> and now we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. Look at it, it actually looks super busy. Like from this standpoint right here. It's definitely a fun day. Everybody wants to be at Val uh, Magic Kingdom on Valentine's Day. I don't blame them. This is where I want to be too. Looks like they're doing really cool photo pass opportunities for Valentine's Day. Look at Mickey giving uh, Minnie a little kiss. Now Minnie's actually over there. I did get to hold her, but uh, you can hold them both and that would be really nice. But I like it. 
And then here is Mini. And I would like I wish I could hold them both, but I can't hold them both with like the camera and that. So like it looks like Mickey's like kind of like smooching on Mini there. But I like it. Happy Valentine's Day. Now I think we're gonna make our way up through Cinderella Castle and uh, maybe go on the carousel. I feel like that would be a nice thing, but look at this golden hour happening right now. It's so beautiful. Oh, and the Princess Cavalcade's coming. We gotta hurry. No matter how many times I make my way up to the castle, it's still so beautiful. Just look at it. <laughs> and like the sun is like hitting it exactly right at the right angle right now. Everything's so shiny. So shiny. I feel like the carousel is a perfect attraction to do on Valentine's Day. And right now the lights are starting to turn on and it's starting to be like that perfect timing, you know? Look at that. Isn't that so majestic looking? Oh boy. And there's not even a wait really. I think we're gonna get on the next carousel. Looks like this is gonna be my trusty steed this evening. Looks very good. You excited? I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. I have to hop up though. It's a high stepper. <laughs> Look at us. We actually have five people. So we're one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. <laughs> you know the way. Yeah, yeah. This is the way. Yeah. This is the way. Walt would like it. <laughs> Why does your horse have such red eyes? Well, it's an evil horse. <laughs> Evil! <laughs> well, my horse, oh, it doesn't even have red eyes though. They have a little bit red eyes. And it's got an axe. Oh boy, we're taking off here. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, I love it. This is amazing. <laughs> a dream is a win! your heart makes when you're fast asleep <laughs> no I love it <laughs> wow and look at the castle right here so amazing oh that's fancy <laughs> oh <laughs> I feel so dangerous when you don't like when you got no hands, no hands. <laughs> and just like Walt Disney here, you're gonna have to use the strap. <laughs> oh, we're starting to slow down here. It's coming to an end. Did you like your horse ride? Oh, I did. I know. It is so nice. <laughs> Look at how high up we are. Holy moly. <laughs> Like this is, <laughs> that is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we gotta go this way. That was a high horse. <laughs> the carousel was a great call. Now I think we're gonna actually make our way back down to Main Street and uh, maybe watch a cavalcade before heading out and trying to get one of those elusive figment popcorn buckets that everyone's talking about. Look at this, I know, right? Oh wow, holy moly. Look at that. So beautiful. There's Kristen right down Main Street. <laughs> Had to stop in to see the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Oh, there's Miguel. Ooh, and some of the princesses are in their winter wear. Time to park hop out of Magic Kingdom and on our way over to Epcot and then we're gonna try to come back to Magic Kingdom like I said we want to watch uh, the fireworks tonight and also have dinner at Narcoosie's so this like I said this is gonna be an adventure what a, a adventurous day it awaits it awaits an adventure awaits <laughs> 
so proper. We're gonna use the monorail system to actually make our way over to Epcot. And look at this. Look at this unbelievable sky as we're making our way up to the monorail though. Holy moly. <laughs> that is remarkable, isn't it? Now we gotta transfer over to the Epcot monorail. And I haven't done this in a long time because usually if I park hop, then I park hop and I just go to Epcot. I don't take the monorail. So it's gonna be a little fun. Looks like our trusty monorail that's gonna be taking us over to Epcot is monorail black. Look at that. I love how it has a black light underneath it. And we have made it to Epcot. Look at this. Wow. So beautiful. Now that we made it over to Epcot, let's go get that figment. <laughs> We're gonna head straight back to the World Show Place because I technically already mobile ordered uh, popcorn buckets for my friends and they give you an arrival window and it's now. So it happened very fast. I don't know if there's gonna be a line once we get there, but we'll find out. Looks like a lot of people back here at Hawaii World Show Place waiting to get their figment popcorn buckets, but our time is now. Oh, looks like uh, we're heading to number five, lane five. Look at all those figment popcorn buckets. That is crazy, isn't it? Holy moly. Here they are. <laughs> Little figments, huh? And look at, they have tons, tons, hundreds. And I'm sure they're gonna get more and more. Even though I already have a figment popcorn bucket, I'm gonna carry one of my friends for them and I'm gonna walk around and flex with it. You gotta flex with the figment popcorn bucket, you know? <laughs> and I guess when in Epcot, stop to La Cava. So I think we're gonna maybe make our way over to Mexico here and uh, hang out at La Cava for a little bit, grab a drink and uh, move along from there. What an epic day, right? Doesn't look like it's too crowded inside La Cava today though, so luckily we'll get ourselves a table, maybe some chips and guacamole. Today only at La Cava, they're actually doing a Valentine's Day drink, and it's better than roses. That's the name of the drink, and it's today only, so I think we're going to have to try it. Even though I really wanted to get a corn old-fashioned, but you have to try a once-in-a-lifetime drink. Like, it's it. It's today. Today or never. Here is the better than roses drink. Today only it says Casa Dragonas Blanco Tequila, Rose Petal Liqueur, House Made Sweethearts Blend, Cranberry and Lime Juice, and then a Hibiscus Salt Rim. So that is going to be delicious. Oh my lord, does that come with roses too? Oh wow! Holy moly! How cute is that? They actually bring me a little rose out. And uh, mm. cheers! Woohoo! Happy Valentine's Day! Cheers to Valentine's Day! Wow! That is so sweet. That is good. And the hibiscus salt on the outside adds a great touch to it. I like it a lot. It's like a sweeter version of the lily, which you guys know that was my favorite drink from Festival of the Arts, and it's served on the rocks. But I like this. This is this is actually a really good margarita here. This is a very sweet drink, and I like how they have the homemade sweet tarts in there, uh, but uh, the hibiscus salt cuts it really well, so it's a good balance. I like it. I like it a lot. I do miss my corn old-fashioned, though, and I like the lily a little bit better, the one that is outside. I mean, this is good, but one day only, you can't pass it up. So cheers. Cheers to Valentine's Day. Now it's time to head out and start making our way back on over to the Grand Floridian. I don't know if we're going to catch the uh, fireworks though. We did uh, spend a little too much time here at Epcot. It's not every day you walk out of La Cava with a rose, but today it just feels like it's right. Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? 
I loved the Better Than Roses drink in there, but I love the fact that you get roses too. And after we got done uh, hanging out there when we were just about to cash out, uh, the waiter brought over roses for everybody. So not only do you get it when you order the drink, but uh, they brought out roses to everybody. And I thought that was really, really nice. Before we head out, we want to stop and take a group photo with the special light photo pass. This is so, so cool and fun, and I love it. Look at right there for two full flashes, all right? Don't move at all. That photo pass opportunity is so amazing. I love it. And now we get to walk out with the rainbow connection behind us. That's so beautiful. There it is. Yes, Kermit is beautiful. Look at how cool this is as we're walking up right here. Fireworks on the monorail on our way over to Narcusis too. Look at that. I wish we could have got here in time, but we missed them just by a second. A minute, actually. I'm very surprised on how fast we were able to get from Epcot back over to the Grand Floridian. And now it's time for Narcusis. And this is a beautiful restaurant for Valentine's Day. It's on the water. You get a firework view. I really do like it here. It's very, very nice. The last time I ate here, I stayed at the Grand Floridian and uh, came down for dinner. And uh, it's a good spot for Valentine's Day. So here we are. It's a little bit of a ways from the main lobby, but uh, yeah, it's right over here, tucked away right in front of the castle too. You see the castle in the background there. The fireworks just ended, so it would have been nice to see the finale, but just a little minutes, a couple minutes shorter in time. Here is a look at the menu. They've got a lot of good seafood combinations, some mahi-mahi, blackened salmon. They've got some scallops with shrimp scampi. Nice surf and turf selection with sirloins and filet. They've got a sweet potato gnocchi. A lot of good stuff and then some enhancements like asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Not too sure what I'm gonna go with today. I mean, it is very good food here. Time to head on over to our table. I like how they have an open kitchen too. Look at this gigantic basket of bread with the pink Himalayan salt butter. These are good, good rolls right here. Fancy establishment like this, gotta take the hat off. But I think I'm gonna go with the surf and turf, uh, sirloin and shrimp. I had lobster before, but I really wanted to try the shrimp, so today's gonna be the night. And here it is, look at that. That looks so, so good, and the shrimp too. I'm excited I got the shrimp. They actually look phenomenal, and the steak looks good. The potatoes, oh yeah, oh thank you. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna cut into this steak here. Bill Murray. Go, you gotta watch that. That's a great Francis. movie. Like, here we go. I got this from Walmart. Like, we have the full big sound system that you can hook up your phone. This is so, so good. And I'm happy I got the shrimp this time because the shrimp is phenomenal. But I love the vegetables too. These carrots are, oh man, this is a great meal, a great surf and turf. Dinner was great and now it's time to head back out. I gotta grab my hat, bada bing bada boom, and it looks like they're closing up shop. And with that, I think we are done here. What a fun Valentine's Day. Literally, I told you guys it was going to be an adventure. And I'm so happy to be able to hang out with friends and get to share this with you. I didn't talk much at dinner and I didn't like show much because we were really just kind of relaxing and enjoying and conversating. And I just didn't want to, you know, whip out the camera. It's a little bit different when you're hanging out with people compared to when you're by yourself. You know what I mean? When I'm by myself, I feel like I'm like with my like camera as a friend but when i'm with friends it's really hard for me to like separate from that you know what i mean but i had such an amazing time and like i said i hope you guys had a great valentine's day and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye